It's an exciting Sunday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Here with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan. And getting the inside reporting from the sideline, it's David Aldridge. And some of the rookies now getting their feet wet, Mike, in the NBA. What are some of the more difficult adjustments to make as an NBA rookie? Learning all the rotations and defensive nuances off the court, the travel, being away from the family, and on and on. And do you, do you give them to it in, in small portions? Do you try to lay the whole thing out in front of them? How, what's the timing of things like that? And you understand, Kevin, that when the race begins, you got to stay up with the rest of the people or your horse is finishing last. <laughs> that's, that's a tough place to be. Boy, that big reach of Malone, so effective on the glass, helping him to get to the loose ball so he can throw it back in the hole. Here's Person. Nice D from Pippen. Dishes it to Johnson. Malone outside. Johnson surveying the floor. Six to shoot. There's the pass to Ewing. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Man, what a shot from Ewing. Fought through the contact to knock it home. Here's Bailey. He points his last outing. Pass to Smiths. Nice move. And it's good on the layup. I mean, good luck. He's seven foot four. I'd foul him too. It's your only chance. Johnson, the pass to Pippen. Johnson outside. And it's Jordan atop the key. Second chance shot. A shot off that time. So Indiana will take it the other way. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Here's Bailey, guarded by Malone. Passes it to Smiths. And Ewing with the block. Great at knowing when to time and go up for the rejection. Ewing, a superb defender. And it's McLeod with the rebound. For Indiana, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Pass to Shrimp. Shoots over Ewing. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Patrick Ewing. Physical play by Shrimp. Taking the play right into the coverage to draw the foul. This is his first chance at the line tonight. He was absolutely lights out from the stripe in their last game. One after another, they were going in. Simply great free throw shooting. And he knocks down the first one. Whether starting or coming off the bench, Schwerf is valuable to this team. They rely on him to score. tied up with that one he can do so much damage from the line the defense has to be more careful around him Johnson outside Jordan outside goes up to the strike Jordan can't get that one to fall Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. And the basket by Schrempf. Knows how to find his shot inside. Schrempf, a consistent scorer. Gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. Ewing outside. Oh 
Malone down low. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. Boy, I like the fact that's intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be in their face all night long. Indiana leading. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. And there's the pass to Person. Pass to McLeod. Over Jordan. A shot by McLeod, no good. Being well off their usual numbers, around 29% so far. Jordan in the corner. Back to Pippen. Trying to end the drought. Michael Jordan on the wing. Five on the clock. Malone sets the pick for Jordan. That one also a miss for him. Just like the other three attempts this game. Cloud pass to Shrimp. Rebounded by Malone. Passes it to Pippen. Now Jordan. Fades back. And it's McLeod with the rebound. And right now, I think he's ready for this quarter to be over. I don't know if I've ever seen him this cold. Rough quarter indeed. Pass to Baylor. Here's Person. Defended by Pippen. Person no good. the wing Johnson he's been quiet so far still no points in the game yeah you know for as big as Ewing is he's got an explosiveness to him and he's got pretty good strength and size he's a tough cover first trip to the free throw line for him tonight one shot mind the length mind the length no shot On the free throw, no good. A double-double nightly threat. Ewing understands how much this team leans on him. The pass to Baylor. Pass to Person. Here's McLeod. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Johnson with it. Looking in his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Pass to Ewing. Malone against Person. And it's Malone missing. Indiana's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Shrev passes to Baylor. Here's Person. Pass to Baylor. Now, here is Shrimp. Fires for three. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Being a pretty distressing 27% here in the early minutes. Malone is doubled. And it's Pippen in the corner. Johnson outside. Poked away. Here's McLeod. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Back to Pippen. The jump hook. Yep, it counts. In a way, Jordan is your point guard. He's the initiator. Indiana trailing here. Time goal here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. And, you know, they just couldn't get dialed in from deep, which is why they struggled. Well, I think they made things too easy on the defense. They should have focused more on moving the ball around the perimeter and trying to tire them out.
Here is Sanders. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Here's Bailey. And that one hits back iron. Couldn't convert the bunny. That one was right there for him. Now, here's Johnson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Malone is screen on Sanders. Jordan finds Malone. Sanders passes to Bailey. And the pass to Shrimp. Out to Russell. Out left to the wing. Just five on the clock. Newman, the pass to Russell. Here's Sanders. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Now, what was he thinking? That's not within his range at all. Way outside of his limits. I'm surprised that he would attempt that shot. Much better to swing the ball around to someone else. Boy, the ball gets sent in Ewing's direction, and he just gets busy, goes to work, snatching the pass right out of the air and putting it down. Sanders. Out to Russell. They could use a bucket. Hands it from downtown. These are the kinds of shots you want to get every time, especially when the defense is nowhere to be found. The Pacers making a switch here. Dunn's checked in. In this first quarter, around 38%. They're looking a bit creaky out there. Here's Mullen. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. It's so difficult to slow down when he gets that fire in his eyes. Dunn looking over the floor. Pass to Sanders. Shrimp against Barkley. Dunn kicks to Russell. Indiana moving the ball around. Here's Newman. Robinson with the block. Barkley outside. Over Shrimp. Fades and shoots. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. Well, there's a reason it was way off. He got fouled. Yeah, easy whistle. Barkley at the line for two.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. He hits both from the strike. Pacers trail by five. Done outside. Passes it to Russell. Shoots a fader. It's rebounded by David Robinson. Gone six of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. Stockton down low. Done covering. Drexler right side. Inside. Here's Barkley. And Barkley throws it down. That's one way to build this lead. Yep. Showtime, Clark, and a real important hoop. You want to extend that lead. Not against Stockton. Dunn passes to Sanders. The feed to Shrimp. the Pacers with possession here. They trail by seven. Pass to Sanders. Shrimp with it. Pocket six. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Stolen by Robinson. Not sure what he was thinking with that pass. The defense reading it well and pouncing all over. Jumping all over them right from the tip off. They now have a double digit advantage. They look like the more confident team so far. This is why they've grabbed such a substantial lead so fast. Now, here's Dunn. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. There's a screen. Here's Sanders. Out to Russell. To the inside. And Clyde Drexler gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Shrimp against Barkley. Looking to end the run. Almost, but it rolls out. Gone 50% from the field in the first quarter. 8 of 16. Stockton passes to Mullen. Pacers with the rebound. 115 left to play here in the first. How done. Outside Russell. Shot from 12. That one good for two. Newman's got it back down to single digits for Indiana. Nothing like setting someone up. Feels better than making a shot. To me, at least. Here's Drexler. Offensive rebound. Now it appears an injury out on the floor, and that does not look like any fun. Man, oh man, that's hard to see right there. I mean, never want to watch a player go down like this. Yeah, unfortunately, it's part of the game. You hate seeing it happen, but there's only so much you can do to prevent these types of things from happening. Bird, he's checked in for Clyde Drexel.
50 seconds left to play in the first. In the corner, it's Bird. Robinson sets a screen for Bird. Count that one. From the opening whistle, their tempo has been the tempo of the game. Not just on offense, but on D as well. They've completely set the tone for this game. Now, here's Dunn. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Puts it up from 12. Bird pulls it in. 47% here so far. Outside Robinson. Done against Stockton. Back to Robinson. Markley outside. Fires the three. It doesn't go for him. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. They're up by 10. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. so far through one quarter. It's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? What stood out to me in that first quarter was their saran wrap defense. Yeah, they've got terrific focus on that end. Making the effort to close out on shooters and stifle the offense. Pacers trail by 10. pass to Smith over Robinson Scotty Pippen grabs the miss Smith has gone one of three on the night outside Pippen in the corner it's Stockton shot from the wing and all around the win that time before dropping in trust Stockton to make smart play calls like this one using the pick and roll to get himself free for a high quality shot pass to Newman Here's McLeod. Here's Smith. Knocked loose. Stolen by Robinson. Stockton looking around. The 19-foot shot. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got his first two points of the night. Smooth as silk. MJ with one of the best pull-up jumpers you'll ever see. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Passes to McClough. Three-pointer. David Robinson with the rebound. Being at 50% in a decent group. Here's Stockton. And they'll get another chance. Pippen outside. Robinson sets a screen for Pippen. Dishes to Robinson. They grab their own miss. Pippen with the bucket. Pippen's got his second basket. You know, Pippen is about 6'8", but he's got the wingspan of a condor using that reach to corral that rebound. Here's Bailey. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And the call will be against Scotty Pippen. That's his first foul. here in the second. Two minutes gone by. Newman the pass to Bailey. Pippen with the steal. Stockton outside. Back to Pippen. Malone dishes to Pippen. To the paint. And Malone with the stuff. Well, Pippen has an excellent sense for how the play is unfolding and doesn't have much trouble finding those open shooters. Bailey passes to Newman. Inside, Malone with the steal. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. The second chance effort. Ewing, good. Ewing's got eight points. 
Boy, Ewing does a nice job anticipating shot trajectory, realizing how quick to position himself on that offensive glass. So timeout called here, the first for Indiana. Magic Johnson checked in for John Stockton. And as always, the mid part of the NBA season, quite a grueling part of the schedule. Right now, let's check out how the standings are shaping up in the East. Look at Indiana. This hasn't been the kind of year they envision. Time running out. About three minutes gone in this second quarter of basketball. As the person. Over Pippen. Person no good. Struggling to find their flow while the other team is on the roll. Yeah, this drought is really hurting them. They've got to mix things up and try and snap out of it. Time now for an injury report. Now let's check in with David Aldridge to see how Clyde Drexler is doing. David. He's calling it a high ankle sprain, and he told me that he's currently in extreme pain. He won't be returning to the game, guys, and he may be off the court for a short period of time. Back to you, Kevin. David, thanks for the report. Mike, good to hear. He will not be out that long. Yeah, Kevin, that could have been a lot worse. Oof. And it's the Pacers with the ball. Scotty Pippen unable to get his shot to go. Six on the shot clock. Can they get it? And Ewing with the block. And they'll keep possession. And it's Smith's missing. Gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Johnson with the bounce pass. The pass to Pippen. Yep, that one goes. Pippen's got four points in the quarter. Scotty Pippen showing you nice touch inside close range. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over.
Larry Bird's checked in for Scotty Pippen. Here's Bailey. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Pass to McLeod. Stolen by Ewing. Jordan kicks to Johnson. There's the dish to Burr. Shot clock at five. Malone is screen on person. Back to Johnson. Just his first attempt. And it's Smith with the rebound. Smith has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Bailey. He's guarded by Johnson. They need this. Michael Jordan grabs the miss. Boy, they dodged one right there, didn't they? Yeah, he won't miss a look that wide open very well. Bird can't hit. Indiana's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Cloud passes to Bailey. Here's Person. Bird covering. Pulls up on the wing. Patrick Ewing comes up with the rebound. Ewing's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Johnson outside. Back to Ewing. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. Ten points for Patrick Ewing. When we talk point guards, Magic is a guy you'd love to have running the show. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Some changes for Indiana. Shrimp comes in for Newman, and it's Russell in for Person. Indiana's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Out to the wing. Cloud passes to Smith, and he uses the glass on the layup. Smith has got his second bucket tonight. Stopping Smith's inside is no easy feat. At seven foot four, he can play over most defenders. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drop. Taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the D and made them pay. Now here's Johnson. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Shrimp passes to Bailey. Back to Shrimp. That shot misses. Some solid defense by Malone. 
Johnson. That's for two. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Bird has such great awareness of the floor. You saw it on that pass. A challenging stretch here for Indiana. Passes it to Smith. Here's Bailey. Pass to McClough. Over Jordan. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Ewing. Sanders checked in for Indiana. Mike Sanders. Shrimp with it. He's picked up by Jordan. And stolen by Jordan. And Magic Johnson with the slam. A little extra magic for the fans on this play. Rising up for the slam. Well done. Shrimp against Malone. Sanders with a screen on Malone. Up top Shrimp. Guarded by Malone. Four on the shot clock. And the Pacers can't get it to go. You know, you got to feel for him. He just cannot seem to buy a bucket here. Yeah, but he has to stop shooting. He's really hurting his team. It's blocked. Boy, the size of Smith so intimidating. The seven foot three Hawk who uses those big hands to turn away shots. Cloud passes to Shrimp. Takes it from 10. And it's off the back rim. No good. 53% in the second quarter. Good ball movement. Yielding good looks. And the jam by Carl Malone. Making it look all too easy. Throw it Malone's way, and he will not disappoint. There's the pass to Smith. Back to Sanders. Pass to McClough. Johnson with the defensive effort. On the wing, Jordan. Sanders cover. Ewing. It's good on the putback. Ewing's got six here in this quarter. Ewing is a guy who can play all over the floor and does it so well, lighting it up tonight. Cloud passes to Sanders. Shrimp with it. Guarded by Malone. No good from Shrimp. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. Bird looking it over. Passes it to Malone. Over Russell. And off the glass. That one's good. Malone's got eight. The paint is unquestionably Malone's real estate. That's his domain. He makes it really difficult to stop him down low. Now here's Sanders. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's McLeod. Covered by Johnson. Shrev passes to McLeod. And once again off the mark by Indiana. Johnson outside. Pass to Malone. Over Shrev. Malone, no luck. Now there's an example of good defense beating good offense. And here's Sanders taking a look at his numbers. He averages about seven points a game. Indiana moving the ball around. They could use a bucket. Here's Smiths. It's good. Smiths has got his third basket of the night. He could have walked to the basket. A chance here for the players to get a much-needed break, catch their breath, and for the coach to make some adjustments. Yeah, he saw something out there that he wants to change. We'll see how it plays out on the floor.
teams changing it up here. There's a minute 47 left in the first half. Shoots it up. And it's Mullen that time on the assist by Stockton. The lefty with a textbook jump shot. Mullen is so reliable on those catch and shoot attempts. Dunn passes to Smith. They get a hand on it. Stockton with it. to the middle. Here's Barkley. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Barkley's got six points. A wizard running that pick and roll. You stopped in another assist. Done outside. The pass to Sanders. Here's Smiths. Now here is Robinson. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pippen dishes to Stockton. Here's Barkley. Pacers with the rebound. 36 seconds left in the first half of the game. And Sanders kicks to Schrempf. Over to the left wing. Shot clock at six. David Robinson. First personal foul. Second 24 seconds left to play here in the half. Now Sanders, six on the shot clock. Outside Pippen. To the inside. Here's Mullen over done. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First foul, first team foul. Mullen is an expert at catching defenders a little out of position. This is his first free throw of the game. Two shots. Shooting two. And that one falls for Mullen. Known for his incredible work ethic. Mullen can often be found in the gym, honing in on his craft. And Mullen drops them both. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Delivering the blowout. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You look at Patrick Ewing in this game so far, he has been everywhere. Already has racked up a double-double through the first half. We call that... A stat sheet stuffer. And if he can carry that performance into the second half, he's going to have some monster numbers. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Pass to Percy. Pippen with the steal. All alone, and it's Pippen with the jam. Scotty Pippen, so effective as a two-way player. Rewarded on offense for working hard on defense right there. Bailey passes to Person. Offline with his three. He is not missing too many of those. Count on it. Defensively, that's not the game plan. But sometimes you get lucky. 
Malone dishes to Johnson. Good, and the assist goes to Malone. Johnson's got six points. Malone, an outstanding passer at the power forward position. He's got really good floor awareness and has a really good understanding of when to get the ball to the open man. Here's Smiths. Pass to Bailey. Six to shoot. Here's Person, guarded by Pippen. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Here's Smiths, and Ewing sends it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. Superb anticipation on that rejection, and that'll allow them to stay on the lead if they keep defending like that. Being an outstanding 53% for the game. Here's Johnson. Six points for him. Pass to Malone. Malone is doubled. Outside for Pippen. And it's Ewing in the corner. Johnson outside. From outside, off the mark. Here's McLeod. No points in the game yet for him. Bailey passes to McLeod. Here's Person. Got a piece of it. Now the pass to Smiths. Shoots over Ewing. And Ewing with the block. Outside, Malone. And it's Malone finishing it off. That is as powerful a dribble drive as you're going to see from Carl Malone. Trying to find a way out of this run, Mike. Yeah, looking to regain some momentum offensively. Pippen against Person. Pass to McLeod. To stop the drought. Person no good. Gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the hand. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Pippen doing what he can to draw the contact while in the act of shooting. That's just a good veteran move there. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Taking two shots. Free throw good from Pippen. I think what you most appreciate about Pippen, at least I do, is his versatility. I mean, he scores it, he rebounds, he passes, and he defends at a really high level. And both free throws good for Pippen. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's Bailey. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Pippen outside. Malone sets the pick for Pippen. And then Pippen slams it in. A display of true artistry. Pippen giving the fans a show with the jam. Indiana's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Bailey. Passes it to Person. Here's Bailey. Down low. Here's Smiths. To stop the run. And Ewing sends it back. Pippen, the pass to Jordan, and the shot goes in. About as competitive a guy as I've seen, Jordan, finishing through the whistle. Second personal foul. And this foul. is his first trip to the line tonight. Shooting to the home team, Michael Jordan. One shot.
Free throw no good for Jordan. What separates Jordan from others, in my mind, is his singular focus. Nothing comes between him and the ultimate goal of winning the game. Here's McLeod. Here's Smits. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Second personal foul. That's on Patrick Ewing. And an easy call for the officials there. Yeah, don't argue that whistle. Pretty obvious. The Pacers have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. The seven foot four center from the Netherlands. Smith is a towering presence on both ends. Both good from the line that time. Gone five of six so far from the field in the second half. Tremendous efficiency. Malone outside. Back to Johnson. And here's Pippen. He's got 12. Lock at six. Jordan finds Malone. Here's Ewing. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. And, you know, their lead just continues to grow, and it's not just because of their offense. They're getting it done at both ends. Yeah, their defense has been stellar as well. Great work on both ends. Here's Bailey. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Shreff passes to McLeod. Here's Bailey. Indiana moving the ball around. Here's Smits on target from 13 feet. Well, standing 7 foot 4 with a soft shooting touch, that mid-range jumper of Smith's is nearly impossible to defend. Johnson with it. He has 6. Malone dishes to Ewing, and it's blocked, and it's going to be out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Right, he's checked in for Shrimp. Right. And the home team has possession. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Pippen. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That's the kind of play you expect from Ewing. He's an absolute warrior. Just relentless in his approach. Here's Bailey. Covered by Johnson. And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. Leitner's checked in for Carl Malone. Newman's checked in for the Pacers. Bailey passes to right. Five to shoot. Here's McLeod. Off target from outside. You know, normally he sinks those threes. Nice job by the defender, not allowing him to have an easy look. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Johnson's length makes him hard to deal with inside, which is why he's able to draw a foul. It's his first trip to the line. Magic Johnson at the line for two. And he makes the first. You love the way Magic controls the pace of the game. He does it from start to finish. The Pacers making a change here. Russell's checked in. No good on the second free throw. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pacers will take it. John Stockton is checked in for Johnson. 
And Indiana with a change here, too. Sanders checked in for person. Indiana's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Pass to Newman. And there's the pass to Baylor. Shot clock at 6. The 11-footer. And the Pacers can't get it to go. He has to be smarter there, guys. We all know he can make that shot, but the defense was right on him there. Pippen kicks to Jordan. Here's Leitner. And they get it back. Well, when you dominate the boards like they have, you're going to win lots of games. You know, I think when you give up second chance points, a lot of it comes down to simply a lack of effort. Yeah, it's simple. A key part of playing good defense is limiting the offense to one shot. And that starts with boxing out. Up top, Russell. Beyond the arc. It's rebounded by Ewing. You know, he's not a knockdown shooter from there, but when you're that uncovered, you almost are forced to take it. Stockton kicks to Ewing. That's good. And a nice assist from Stockton. Stockton's got three assists now in this one. Here's Indiana. They host the 76ers after this game. That game is the first and last of their homestand. Bailey passes to Sanders. Pass to Russell. And that's a foul uh, called on John Stockton. That's his first foul. Both teams will make substitutions. Substitution on the court. Here's Newman. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Shot clock at five. And another steal for him. Now, here's Stockton. It's hauled in by Dunn. That was tough to watch. He takes it all the way to the cup and just can't finish the job. Tipped away. Here's Stockton. He doesn't hit that one. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. Done outside. Now Sanders. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Wright sets a screen for Dunn. Trying to end the drought. No good on that one. Some solid defense from Robinson. I know, Mike, you love how guys are making plays for one another. And we've seen it all game long. Yeah, a real balanced attack. Total team effort. Now, here's Stockton. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Robinson. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. They're looking extremely sharp right now. Poised in the top spot and playing very well. And here's Don. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. to the inside. Newman. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Clearly, he got him. No doubt. Good job by the officials. Yes. We are giving credit to the officials. The Pacers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. Larry Bird's checked in for Leighton. Good on the second free throw. Like they've captured an impressive lead. Oh yeah, they're in the driver's seat right now, Kev. Both hands on the wheel. 
Barkley outside. And stolen by Wright. To the wing right side. Down against Mullen. Dunn kicks to Sanders. Driving in. And yes, it's good. Sanders has got his first points of the game. Getting it beautiful here in the third. 56% from the field. Outside Mullen. And here's Stockton. Back to Mullen. Stockton outside. Six to shoot. Robinson sets a screen for Stockton. Offline from the top of the key. Indiana's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Bird against Russell. Sanders with the ball. Passes it to Newman. Just five to shoot. Russell passes to Newman. And it goes out of bounds following the shot. Looking to keep it rolling. Stay on the attack and keep playing the right way. Pulls it up. That one off the back iron and out. Bird's gone one of three from the field here. Dunn passes to Newman. Dunn outside. The 10-footer. Barkley grabs the board. Bring it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. He kicks it to Stockton. Outside Mullen. Back to Stockton. Barkley with a screen on Dunn. Stockton passes to Barkley. Kicks it out to Mullen. Six on the shot clock. Stockton outside. Trying to get something going. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Yeah, you know, some might say Stockton is the high water mark for dime droppers. His distribution really on a whole nother level. Great assist guy. Now, here's Dunn. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Russell passes to Sanders. And here is Dunn. Here's Newman. There's Russell with the three. And that's collected by Bird. Bird's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the middle. And the dunk by Robinson. And the Admiral, David Robinson, a big time threat to dunk it down. Can't give this seven foot one center any room down low. Now, here's Dunn. Newman with the bucket. Newman's got his second bucket of the night. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Stockton kicks to Mullen. To the paint. Here's Robinson. The shot, no good. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. Delivering the blowout. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Now here's Stockton. Top Barkley. Outside for Stockton. Barkley trying to break loose. That's good from Stockton. The assist by Barkley. You cannot let Stockton get comfortable out at the arc. He'll snipe it at you whenever he gets the chance. James, the pass to Grady. Back to James. to the right side. Brady. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Being 52% from the four. Nice work so far from them. Up top, Barkley. Done covering. 
Floats one up, and it's right, sending it back. On the wing, James. He's covered by Stockton. James, the pass to Grady. Back to James. Six to shoot. And that's a foul uh, called on John Stockton. That's foul number two for him. Cunningham, he's checked in for Barkley. The Pacers also with a sub. Shrimps checked in. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Stiff kicks to James. Shot clock at six. Over Stockton. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. That's not a bad look. He missed that chance, but he'll get them to fall if he gets space like that. Mullen passes to Cunningham. Stockton against James. Good D by James. On offense, here are the Pacers. Nothing doing offensively yet for them in the fourth. Stiff, the pass to right. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Here is Stiff. He's covered by Stockton. Stiff against Stockton. And that one's good by Stiff. Pretty easy around the cup. He'll convert that most every time. Gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Stockton against James. Cunningham dishes it to Mullen. Pass to Stockton. Cunningham sets a screen for Stockton. Misses the J after tricking the D with the nifty pass thing. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Indiana. They've played a great fourth quarter defensive, allowing only three points. Grady passes to James. There's the pass to Grady. He feeds it to right. It's stolen by Mullen. Pass to Stockton. It's good, the assist that time from Mullen. Smart read by Mullen. Recognizing the overcommitment and burning the defense for it. James outside. Pass to Grady. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Wright finds James. Here is Stiff. Now Shrimp. He's covered by Malone. Three on the clock. Here's Grady. A three-pointer, no good. Gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Pops it up for Jordan, and it's Jordan with the jam. The ball goes up, and Jordan brings it down. Nothing the defense can do about it. James, the pass to Shrimp. Back to James. Right with a screen on Johnson. Here's James again with the block. Jordan looking around. Pass to Johnson. Malone outside. Outside Jordan. Feeds to Johnson. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Johnson with incredible athleticism and uses it to bully the defense there. Magic Johnson. Two shots. And that one falls for Johnson. Oh, 
So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Indiana's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. To the wing on the left. Here's Grady. And here's James outside. It's rebounded by Ewing. Ewing's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Outside Pippen. Outside Jordan. Ewing sets a screen for Jordan. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And they have not let up. They are still in attack mode despite their sizable lead. And I like that mindset. Never let up. You don't want to give the opponent any opportunity to get back in this one. And it's right missing. Now, the defense was far from awful. However, he's still got to make these shots, in my opinion. And Malone with the stuff. Showing off the power right there. Carl Malone does not mess around down low. Malone's gone 6 of 11 tonight. More makes than misses. Brady passes to James. The pass to Grady. Pass to Shrimp. Shoots over Malone. And the basket by Shrimp. Such a clean shot by Shrimp. He knew he just needed the ball. Johnson outside. Here's the teardrop. And it goes down two points. I like that they're putting in the work, trying to build this lead out. Because in the NBA, no lead is safe. Coach, they're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something has to change. Now, here is Shrimp. Kicks it out to James. Wright sets a screen for James. And Ewing sends it back. Now Johnson. Outside Jordan. Ewing outside. There's the feed to Malone. Over James. And it's Malone missing. Indiana's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Passes to Grady. Right outside. Pass to Grady. Johnson against James. And it's stiff missing. Gotten into a pretty good groove going 6-10 here in the final quarter. Ewing the pass to Johnson. Kicks to Pippen. Ewing inside. Working on James. He gets that one. The paint is really Ewing's domain. He uses his size and length to just own the inside. James against Johnson. Wright sets a screen for James. He dishes it to right. Back to James. Indiana moving it around. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Pippen. You know, the way his shot went so wide, pretty obvious he got fouled. Oh, yeah, plenty of contact there. At the line for the Pacers, James. Two shots. Shooting two. No good on that one. So both teams making some changes here. And he sinks the second. 
Gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. Then some solid looks for them. Bird kicks to Johnson. Back to Bird. Deflects the pass. And up the court come the Pacers on the break. James dishes to Dunn. James in the post. He's guarded by Johnson. James, the pass to Smith. Over Robinson. And it's Smith's missing. Gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Mullen. And the rejection by James. And here's Sanders. The pass to James. Lock at six. High post try. And the shot is good. Can't afford to leave him open for mid-range. You're asking to get burned when you do this. Johnson, the pass to Bird. Mullen against Sanders. Mullen with the ball. Over Sanders. The shot's good for Mullen. It's a mistake to let Mullen find space in mid-range. His strong mechanics can make it a go-to for him. Johnson against James. Back to Sanders. Inside. And it's Sanders with the finish. A textbook screen creating a big-time opportunity. You know, he certainly makes Dudney Clark the most of everything. When you've got the chance, you have to take it. He held nothing back. Now, here is Mullen. Johnson outside. Outside Mullen. Johnson kicks to Bird. Fires the three. The Pacers pull it in. Smiths has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Johnson with it. He's picked up by James. Outside Mullen. We've got 118 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Johnson outside. Shot clock at six. To the middle. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, you can just tell the guys on his team look up to Robinson out on the floor. I mean, he's got such leadership qualities, and that's exactly what you want from your best player, a guy who can really galvanize the troops because they respect him so much. Throw good. Robinson. Bailey. He's checked in for the Pacers. Robinson hits them both. 107 left in the game. Here's Bailey. He's guarded by Johnson. Smith's good. And it's got to be frustrating that they're finally starting to play like this, being this one is basically done. Well, hopefully they can take this energy into the next one because I don't see them coming away with the victory tonight. Here's Bird. The Pacers making the shot. Johnson inside. Second shot opportunity. And that one's good, Leitner. The fans heading home very satisfied tonight. With good reason. Their team played well. To the left wing. Bailey passes to Sanders. Puts one up from 19. Again, Indiana. Mike, they've captured an impressive lead. Oh, yeah. They're in the driver's seat right now, Kev. Both hands on the wheel. Johnson outside. Okay, 
So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. Clark dominant in every aspect of the game tonight. They sure were, and their fans loved it. Dismantled them offensively and defensively. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.